I'm not sure if this is a really stupid question, but when you're training as a goalkeeper, do you try and make your hands stronger? You're right, it is a stupid okay, question. OK, good. Jack Whitehall's not even on yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, right, I... No, it's just you... come for the job. Okay. Literally, when you're when you catching footballs day in, day out, your hands are naturally going to get stronger. So. OK, good. Well, so it was. It was a good question. But the thing is, Max, is I wanted to know the answer, yeah, so right. Thanks, I'll, Hells. I'll back you up. Cheers. Stupid question. Right, we feel a bit mean <laughs> saying this, getting you sitting down and then just saying, why are Arsenal rubbish? Um, <laughs> but you're kind of qualified as an Arsenal legend to answer the question. They are a bit rubbish at the moment, and why? Uh, I think probably inconsistent rather than rubbish. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the nature of the team at the moment. Uh, I think it's fair to say that when Arsenal arrived, he had a strong foundation of a football team, so if you liken it, use an analogy of a Christmas tree and Arsenal put the baubles on it. Now he's got the baubles, but unfortunately there's no tree, so oh, nice. that's the... Uh, yeah. that's the... Isn't that, isn't, you know, I mean, Arsenal's been there a long time. Shouldn't Arsenal have kept the tree or bought another tree? Well, it's hard to replace players that he had, you know, and they're not readily available. So it's just the makeup of the team at the moment. I'm sure they'll find consistency, but unfortunately, fans are very impatient, aren't they? But it's Tuesday night, League yeah. Two, Bradford away, yep. quarterfinals, and Arsenal had pretty much a full team out. Been there, been there. Not a good result by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> but having said that, I was involved in a team way back in the 80s, an Arsenal team that went to York City one wintry January and we got beat 1-0. So, it has happened before. It's do you get a feeling as a player, it. do you think... Oh, Sometimes, yeah, you do. Well, it's not so much the cold, it's a sequence of events and you're thinking, this is, this is not a good day, it's on... and unfortunately, it's a self-fulfilling prop prophecy, and that's what's happened with us, particularly at York. But having said that, the other night, you know, the standards, didn't they? And you wouldn't expect Arsenal to get beat at Bradford. But that's the beauty of football, if you want to look at it that way. Or if you're an Arsenal fan, then it's not so good, is it? Even though they're not playing terribly well at the moment, it was still a bit of a shock. I remember during the day thinking, you know, Bradford have got a chance. But then when Arsenal lost, I was still, still shocked. Especially the way that they lost as well, on penalties. Yeah. You would... Well, it's you... a good old British thing, isn't it, losing on penalties? Yeah, we've got yeah, the missed but, Arsenal. But, I mean, for the British as well, yeah. aren't they? Well, no, I mean English, should I say. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know, would a League Two side be... Should a League Two side be <laughs> worse than a Premier League side well, on penalties? Well, I, well, league... I don't think so, cos it's... Well, no, I agree. Hmm. Having said that, League Two side have got nothing to lose. No, that's right. And also, I think probably probably Bradford might have practised a few penalties, but I doubt whether Arsenal did. Well, uh, you can practise them as long as you want. It doesn't replicate uh, the arena that you're in at the time. You know, all the pressure, the importance of the, of the penalty that you're taking. So you can never recreate that. You can practise it as long as you want. And all these advocates have practised this, practised that. Yes, you get the technique right and all the other bits and bobs, but invariably here, players walking up to a penalty spot and halfway through, as they're walking up, they know what they're going to do. When they get to the spot and they think, they've changed their mind. It's interesting it. that you say, you know, a player taking a penalty because obviously you were facing them yeah. all the time. Well, we're facing them and really and truly, uh, you, you just... It, it, it's a psychological job that you've got, really. You know, and if you... The, the thing that annoys me is that when a goalkeeper makes a save off a penalty, it's a bad penalty. It's missed, yeah. If he it's goes not, the other yeah. way and the guy scores, it's a good penalty, whether it goes in the corner or not. Yeah. So the goalie never gets any credit, whatever happens. Right. What, should, it, should Wenger go? That's the question. Uh, no. OK. No, personally, I don't think so. I don't think that uh, Arsene should go. I think he's, he'll have a plan in his head. He'll know what he wants to do, where he wants to go, and whether or not he can get the players in that he needs. Do you think, think he'll spend some money? Um, I think he will. Whether January is the right time to spend it or not is a different question because of the Champions League involvement and all the other bits and bobs. So is he going to get the players that he actually needs? And if he does get players in in January, or, or can get players in in January, they're going to want, want to know, by and large, when you play for a club like Arsenal, they're going to be in the Champions League. So it's a, it, it's a double-edged sword. You know, getting them in or not getting them in, is it the right thing to do or not? But I think he probably needs additions. 
Jack Whitehall's coming on in a minute. He's an Arsenal fan as well, so we'll, he'll have an opinion on some of those things. So we'll move on to Leeds. You had two spells mm. at Leeds. Uh, you won the 91-92 league, uh, beating Manchester United to the title. So how, how was that season for you? Good um, times. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when you look at the Premier League now and you look at the teams that come up from the Championship, Leeds came up in 1990 and in the second season won effectively what, what is now the Premier League. So we won the Championship. You know, look at it this day and age. Could you actually see somebody coming out of the Championship two seasons down the line winning the Premier League? I don't think it's going to happen, do you? No. Unless they've got phenomenal financial backing. Well, that's, yeah. that's all well and good. You know, you can have fin financial clout, but at the end of the day, the best players don't make the best team, so you still have to have a balance of a team. Yeah. You know, you can't just go out and buy whoever you want because they're not going to gel. But going back to the Leeds thing, I mean, we won, we won the Championship in 92, as you rightly say, but... Um, there was a school of thought that said that Manchester United lost the title, but I think it's fair to say that in that season, uh, we went, we played Chelsea, I think we played Chelsea away in the October and went second in the league. And from that moment onwards, it was us and, us and Manchester United in first and second spot to the end of the season. Unfortunately, Manchester United had a number of games towards the end of that season, which uh, the results didn't go their way and they did ours and we, we ended up winning the league. 